and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the Free American Empire. And in the last episode, the USSR capitulated. We are definitely an empire now. All of our enemies are concentrated in Europe. There's still, I believe it was 59 to 110 Soviet divisions out there somewhere. So we do have quite a few enemies. Italians, they have no ships and no planes, but up to 500 divisions. We still got a battle ahead of us, so let's work at knocking this out. I plan the unthinkable. Four. Yugoslavia has capitulated. Great news. We are dancing in the free American empire. They are celebrating and forgetting that there is still a war going on. Oh, Lord, this is going to get ugly fast. Here come the Italians. Try to take advantage of the hole. Alright, let's fix our hole. Uh, you get the job of immediately filling that gap. Who's next to you? Army 12. Also get the job of immediately filling that gap. You also stop your attack. And as much as I would like to have you continue your attack, you also halt. You have orders, go with them. Bradley still getting closer. I'm thinking about stretching out your front even more. You have orders. Go with it. George still has his doubts. He's got a lot of troops lined up against him. Where is Eisenhower? Ike, 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 Ike. You're down here somewhere. There you are. You almost got everything in position, so the hell with it. Go. They should suffer a nightmare of attrition. I don't know how well this will work out. Interesting to see. And let's get this rolling, see how this plays out. Can we destroy all these divisions? In time, here come the Italians. They're pushing hard. To be expected. As soon as all these divisions get released, they'll go here. Italians are still pushing, and they're going to push right into a pissed-off army. Uh-oh. The tide is turning. The 
tide is turning against us. Those eight divisions are nine, eight, six. Uh oh, there it goes. There they go. And it's over. Boom. Reinforcements are coming. All right, let's distract the hell out of the Italians with our planned invasions. Oh, you think you have a good chance? Well, then go. Go help them. You are nowhere near there yet. Go, take Sicily. Go, take Sicily. Go, take Sicily. Are you not ready? Nope, he needs five more days. Damn. The other guys are going. Not everyone's arriving to the party. That's horrible. All right, let's nuke the hell out of Italy, teach them respect. So that the Italians never learn the concept of respect. top off and buried all those people well that's nothing compared to what I'm doing to them right now Let's bomb Munich, too. Oh, I don't have any strategic bombers up in Munich. Okay, I guess I can't bomb Munich. How'd you like that? Catch me outside. How about that? I have strategic... Oh, look at this. George, George, George. Italy has capitulated? I just nuked the hell out of them and they capitulated? George, go, 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 don't hold up. Holy shit. Well, let's see if I can repeat that with France. got plenty of dudes. I still have uh, 92 despite all of the ones I've set off. Running out of targets. Did that make a difference? Poland has capitulated. All right, we need to just go. You have orders, don't you? Don't you have some sort of semblance of orders?
That wasn't very good orders, was it? No, I don't think so. Let's try this again. Your orders are to go all the way into there. We can't attack that one? What the hell is that? What the hell happened here? Oh hell, that's our Marines going up. That's weird. Okay, the these the it collapsing so quickly that I can't respond to them at this speed. Get up there and form an offensive line straight into um, what is that? France. Yeah, just go. Hungary has capitulated. This is becoming a mess and anarchy. Oh hell, they reconnected the dots. That's impressive. How you doing up here, Ike? Ike's about ready to wipe out Finland. Good deal. This is a mess. We're just empowering the hell out of France. And we are going to lose our Marines if we are not careful. Alright, cancel all of your Marine type orders. And come down here. Oh, they're not there. No, come down here. Okay. And you have finally succeeded. Congratulations. It's only taken how many years and attempts to pull that one off? This is like falling apart in a, such a weird way that I can't compensate for it quickly enough. Well, at least <clears throat> Bradley has arrived to stop the onslaught of the French there. Finland has capitulated. Ike, I'm not even going to pull you down. It's too much of a mess down here. Last thing I need is more units. No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, that's going to be weird. But anyways. Okay, now how in the hell are we going to do this? <clears throat> We've got to get this organized somehow. This is right now complete and utter mess. 
Technically, we control this area. We have no control over that area. <clears throat> the front is such a mess. There's no way we can respond quick enough to deal with this. But the best response we got out of was, was out of Bradley. George's front is such a mess. Looks like he's getting himself organized, though. Okay, good deal. He's still going wiping out the enemy. You're still going wiping out the enemy. You're coming up the rear. How about you? Alright. Uh, let's get some air support for... Perfect. For Bradley, fighters and close air support and more tactical bombers. Perfect. some planes over Western Germany. Too many. Fighters, close air support, that's perfect. Yes, I know. Where are you guys coming from? Ah! <coughs> Fighters. Perfect. Fighters and jet strategic. Perfect. Bomb the hell out of them. Fighters, close air support. No. There we go. Czechoslovakia has capitulated. <clears throat> Cancel that. Let these guys calm down first and figure out who's going to be controlling what. You have no orders. Perfect. Deal with the southern aspects of this from here to there. Go. Your orders are that. Who else doesn't have any orders? You don't have any orders? Really? Well, that's not right. Alright, we're going to give you orders from there to there. Same thing. Do your normal backup thing. You don't have any orders? Well, we're going to take care of that right now. Here, there, your orders are thus. Keep up the pressure, George.
Well, it looks like we're finally gaining control of our front. Who else doesn't have any orders? You don't have any orders? Do you have a front at least? No, you don't have a front. Where in the hell are you going then? Uh, take a front right there. And just push, push, push. Push. And what the hell, just go. Don't leave anything in your rear. Did we ever take Leningrad? Yes, we did. Don't leave those guys behind. And George, where's, um, over here. Yes, you got new orders. East Germany has capitulated just to mess up my line once I finally figure it out. Okay, George, your orders are on hold. Because we are messed up again. Bradley, go. I have no idea where the rest of your army is at. Banging his head against the Maginot line. That's not going to go very well for him. Who's got this army? Mr. Hodges. Go. Got another surround. That's perfect. Just go for mass genocide on the surrounds. And we are pushing into France. Unfortunately, we're giving it back to National Francais, but what the hell. People's Republic of Amsterdam, People's United Provinces are advancing into our territory. The Cooperative of Belgium, they don't seem to be interested in doing much of anything. All right, Bradley, hold up. I know you, you've gotten a toehold, and that's great, but Clark is banging his head on the Maginot line, and that's not going very well. We wiped out all those guys, so... Hodges, new orders. First offensive strike. Take Amsterdam. 
You shouldn't have any orders that require commands. What is going on here? Alright, you get the crazy thing. As usual. I need somebody to back up. Bradley, you get the job. I don't want to give National France any land in Spain. Oh, this is going to go poorly. Who do else doesn't have orders? We don't have orders. The People's Republic of Luxembourg has advanced their territory. Well, Let's just put an end to that right now. You get the pleasure of taking Paris. Of liberating Paris. Alright, our Filipino troops have done very well. They get the job. No, that's not the job they get. Stop that. They get the job of busting the Maginot Line. Maybe if we nuke it again. Let's do that. Let's nuke the hell out of the Maginot Line again. Oh, well, according to that, the Maginot Line's already been destroyed. No, not completely. air support. Where's my air support at? Where in the hell are they at? We have 1,200. We need a big air base for this. There's a big air base. What we got here? Fire and close air support. Bring it up. Here. Help provide George cover. Fighter, close air support. Perfect. Provide George with cover. We have another 600. Oh, Lord. No place. Oh, we can send them right here. Okay. And southern France again. We need some air cover in northern France. We need a small one. That's just fighters. Tactical bombers. Strategic bombers. How about some pa? All right, light bomber, light bomber, light bomber, and one fighter. Woo. But we are out of time now, people. Let's take a quick look at the casualties. Only nationalist Spain is left. They only have up to a million men. Only the French commune is left. There might be some, oh, United Union of Britain. Okay, whatever. Uh, but they only have 2.64 million men. Of course, we are losing ground here. There's still Italian troops up here, of all things. But the, the 
enemy is collapsing and we are pushing them as fast as we can and until I see y'all again next time November 19th 1956 bye bye